There was an overseas advertiser, a non-Korean company, not registered for Korean value-added tax with National Tax Service, the relevant Korean government department. The company wanted to have its advertisement carried by a certain local publisher based in South Korea. Most Korean publishing companies use other companies, Korean advertising agencies, to sell an advertising service on their behalf, as does the Korean publisher the company wanted, wanted to trade with. So the company signed an advertising service contract with the advertising agency representing the publisher. The advertising agency created a set of ads for the company that would be carried by the publisher. After the advertisement had been published, the company received two invoices from the advertising agency. The first one included the fee for the advertising agency service, and the second one included the fee for the publisher service. The company paid those invoices in full. The advertising agency passed the money received for the publisher's service on to the publisher. When in invoicing, the advertising agency quoted prices without Korean value-added tax for both services because it thought those were both supplies of an advertising service to an overseas advertiser and the supply of a services to an overseas advertiser made within South Korea would be exempted from Korean value-added tax according to the relevant provisions of the Korean Value-Added Tax Act regarding supply of services for acquisition of foreign currencies. But National Tax Service rejected the claim for the exemption from value-added tax for the publisher. It alleged that the exemption should not apply to the publisher because the publisher had a service contract with the advertising agency, not the company and didn't get paid directly by the company. The publisher sued National Tax Service. Who did the Korean court decide was right?